Party Lines and Crystal Set Radios. Talk about sharing your life on the internet, if you want to or not. I can remember a time when part of your communication life was wide open. Back in those days, telephones were on what they called a party line. Unless you could afford a private line, which was not available in some parts, even then, and I'm not accusing anyone of doing this, your private line was being connected at a central station by a real human and was potentially not private. Each phone had a number of rings determined by how many were on the party line. I think our phone had six people all connected. One phone would have three rings and another four rings. I cannot remember if all phones would ring in unison or not, but I think they did. Three numbers were usually used for phone numbers, like 623. One thing I am not in doubt about was the ability for other people to listen in on your conversations. If you went to the phone to make a call and someone was talking on the party line, you could hear them. If no one was on the line, when you picked up the receiver, the operator at the central location would ask you for a number. You know, each generation has its things, and one of the advantages of growing old, you had the opportunity to see several technology changes and can now tell people about them in vlogs or blogs like this. Do you know what a crystal set radio is? Those have been around almost from day one, and they did not require a power source. I can remember listening to a radio station on one of those while sitting in a math class in junior high school. The junior high was only about 300 yards from the transmitter of the commercial radio station, so the signal was perfect. That is just one of the changes that has taken place over the years. It's hard to imagine going from a crystal set radio to a digital recording like I'm doing right now.